Happy New Year. Um, it's not the first, which I usually like to have my Beauty Heroes videos up at the on the first, um, but the last few months that has not been something that I've done. <laughs> um, and I might be more sporadic with um, my Beauty Heroes reviews. Uh, I might not have them every single month. Depending on what the box is, how many times I've reviewed the brand, um, we'll sort of feel it out this coming year. Um, uh, and then the last few boxes, like I haven't, I haven't done a specific video for like last month, uh, the December box I did skip. Um, and then there were boxes previous to that. I think one was Prima and then one was Innersense. And I've already talked about Innersense like a ton. Um, so I didn't feel the need to make another video on that, uh, specifically, but, um, yeah, we're going to see how this year goes. Um, I likely won't have my videos up on the first going forward. It'll just be sort of like when I have time. I sort of talked about this in my last video that things will be um, sort of changing up a bit on my channel. Uh, I won't be posting as much and it's just gonna, it's gonna be different. <laughs> it's different here. Um, so yeah, so it's the new year. It's the fourth as I'm filming this. I don't know when I'm gonna post it though. Hopefully the fifth, that's the goal get it edited within 24 hours and up. Um, and it is a hair care box, which feels appropriate given that I have, I mean, it's it's not new hair anymore. I did cut it almost a month ago. Um, but yeah, I did chop off like, oh, how much did I chop off? I chopped off quite a bit. I actually didn't mean to chop off as much as I did. Um, I wanted it to be a little bit longer, um, but then the, the woman who had done my hair, uh, she chopped off a little bit more, but I was like, it's fine, it'll grow back, no big deal. Um, so yeah, so I had to cut off, I hadn't cut, I hadn't cut my hair in 18 months. So I had a lot of dead, split-endy grossness going on, you know, this like bottom part of my hair. And now it's like, it's nice and soft and it feels great. Also not wearing makeup. Also something that you'll probably be seeing a lot when I do manage to film videos is I probably won't be wearing makeup a ton. It's just not, it's just not a focus of mine right now. I don't wear it every day. Uh, the last time I wore it was the was when I filmed the video. Um, it's just not it's just not something that's like part of my daily routine anymore. Um, I'm focusing more on like skincare and things like that, but I'm not even really focusing on that. Like my routine is the exact same as my most recently posted current skincare routine video. Daytime only, still not doing nighttime. <laughs> um, but yeah, my skin's doing my skin's doing good. So I'm not I'm not complaining about it right now. Okay, anyway, now that we've gotten that little intro bit out of the way. So yes, this is a hair care box from Beauty Heroes. Well, hair care and body care, because there are two hair care products and two body care products from um, a brand that we've seen before. It's being featured a second time um, with a couple of new products. And I'm realizing now I don't have the little card. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go find that. Okay, now I found it. So it's Bathing Culture. So Bathing Culture is being featured again with a couple of their new products. They did just release hair care. Um, so we do have their shampoo and conditioner. We've got the Kelp Forest shampoo in the scent Break water and then the good seed conditioner and nude beach and I do believe these come in multiple scents um, and then we also have two body care products which is the mind and body wash which now comes in this the last time we saw this uh, it was featured in like the big glass pump bottle which I still have in my shower and I don't use it that much because it is sort of like inconvenient to use just the way that my shower is designed, like a big glass bottle, it's just like not always the safest thing to have around. <laughs> um, so I'm very appreciative that this comes in like a plastic bottle now. And then we also have the Heat Wave body oil. So let's talk about the hair care first. I did use them this morning. I have been using them for about the last week. I wanted to get a good feel for them before I you know, sat down and talked to you guys about them. Um, and it's been a while since I've tried any new hair care really. Um, I've mainly been sticking to like, things that I have around here. Um, I've decluttered a lot, so I've gotten rid of a bunch of stuff. Um, but uh, mainly what's in my shower lately is Innersense. I do have the Nature's Wisdom shampoo bar and conditioner, which I actually travel with. So it's it's a great travel, like the, the shampoo bars and conditioners are great travel, you know, companions. Um, and those are the only ones that I like. I've tried a bunch of shampoo bars and like I'm scared off from trying shampoo bars that have coconut oil in them now. Um, Beauty Heroes did offer to like send some of their new shampoo bars that have hit the store lately, um, but their ingredients, they have coconut oil in the ingredients and I can't do that because I tend to break out down here when I use the shampoo bars with coconut oil in the ingredients. That happened with the Audacity shampoo bar, which I did like, but um, 
it broke me out. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fuss with that again. So like, I know I like the Nature's Wisdom one. I think it's Nature's Wisdom. I forget what they're called actually. <laughs> um, or what, Nature's Garden Wisdom, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I like those, so I use those and they're great travel. That's, that's all I've been traveling with. Um, what was I saying? Okay, what else is in my shower? Um, I did use up some Briogeo. Um, I have some Evolve sort of like on standby. Um, what else have I used up? I'm not really sure, but I've been, I haven't really, I haven't bought any new hair care. Um, I haven't really received that much. I did receive the Innersense box from Beauty Heroes, but that was more like the scalp scrub, the detox mask, hair oil, and then I think the, the deep conditioning mask, I think. Um, so it wasn't like shampoo and conditioner. Um, so this is the first new shampoo and conditioner I'm trying in quite a long time. And I really, really like these. I've, like I said, I've tried them a few times now. I did, it is what I washed my hair with today. My hair feels like great. On top of, I had just cut all the dead stuff off. So like, yes, it's just, it's gonna feel great anyway. But it's like, it's nice and soft. It feels good, it looks good. It doesn't really smell like anything at this time, but you know, I like the scents of these products. So let's start with the Kelp shampoo, uh, the Kelp Forest shampoo. <sighs> I'm gonna be out of breath again in this video. So just bear with me. So with clean, pristine water in their sight line, bathing culture painstakingly developed a readily, a readily biodegradable kelp forest shampoo, replacing often used um, polyquaternium, a bioaccumulating ingredient that is known to help reduce frizz and static with a water and aqu uh, aquatic life-friendly synergy. Uh, kelp extract loaded with vitamin C and omega-3 offers essential minerals and nutrients that regenerates the roots, inspire growth, and support strength. Seaweed, uh, bay laurel, sweet orange, and clary sage smell like sweet ocean spray. So yeah, this one is the breakwater scent, which it says on the back, smells like diving headfirst into 55 degree Pacific waters, coastal scrub, and crisp ocean air. I mean, it smells kind of like, I don't know, almost like a little bit like minty to me. I don't know that it really smells like the ocean so much, but I do like the scent of it. Um, it lathers really well. I've experimented with a couple of different like pumps. I think I used four the first time I did this, which was way too much for my hair. Um, I've settled on two pumps, which is perfect for my current hair length. Um, so let's see, kelp extract feeds your roots, supporting growth and strength with vitamin C and omega-3s. Amaranth seed, squalane, and amino rich extract has been shown to provide bounce in body. And then salon grade results with no compromise on personal or planetary safety. Designed for all hair types and colors. I'm really enjoying it. This is definitely something that I'll rebuy in the future. The eight ounce size is 28 bucks, which I feel is really affordable, especially for, um, you know, like clean, clean health uh, hair care. Um, so yeah, this is definitely one that's gonna be in the rotation of products that I keep around because I do really like this. Makes my hair feel really good. Looks really good. So there's that. So then we have the Good Seed Conditioner, um, which the full size of this is eight ounces and $30. Again, in my opinion, affordable. Depends on everybody's definition of affordable. So making our way to the shore, we encounter the healing properties of seeds, stems, and flowers the base of good seed conditioner using biodegradable plant ingredients um, and the best in green chemistry. This all types, all textures conditioner uses brassica seed, coconut and castor seed oil. So apparently there is coconut oil in this, um, which I didn't realize. I haven't had any issues with it so far, but I'll keep you posted if I do end up having some issues with it. I usually don't have an issue with coconut oil. I've been able to put it on my face, but for some reason, um, like in this area breaks out, like like I said, from using the shampoo bar, but no other time has like coconut oil ever broken my skin out. So far I haven't had any issues, I'll let you know, like I said. Um, and castor seed oil to replace polyquats and silicones that tend to build up and weigh hair down. Squalene and amino rich amaranth seed further reduces static and frizz, while argan oil, carrot seed, and celery seed deliver vitamin E, fatty acids, and carotenes. Um, and add a rich and creamy texture. A blend of magnolia, coconut, rose rock, carrot seed, and sweet orange smell like sun-kissed skin on warm sand. So this is the nude beach scent, and it says it smells like sandy sun-drenched skin, blooming magnolia, and warming chaparral. I mean, I guess it smells kind of like deserty, but I don't know. 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where people get these like descriptions from where it smells like sun-kissed skin. I really don't feel like this ever, this smells like sun-kissed skin that I've ever had. Um, so it's get silk, hydrated and silky hair, courtesy of seed stems and flowers, um, brassica seed based conditioner and coconut deliver silicone alternatives to reduce frizz and tangles. I feel like it does a pretty good job reducing frizz, but like I also straighten my hair, so I don't really have a lot of frizz once my hair is like totally done. Um, amaranth seed is known to add shine and body with its amino and squalene rich extract. And yep. Yeah. That's that. So again, I really like this. Two pumps is just fine for my hair. Um, my hair is always like silky smooth when I rinse it out. I have no issue, you know, brushing it, untangling it, um, but I have only used it on my short hair. But I never really had any issues with like tangles and stuff with my hair before. My hair is, my hair is pretty fine. And I really, I don't, I really, like it sort of looks like I have a lot of it, but I really don't. Cause like once you put it in a ponytail, there's like really, there's not much there. <laughs> it just kind of looks like it. So I've been enjoying both of those. Like I said, I'm definitely gonna keep those in my routine of shampoos and conditioners when I run out. Um, really what that looks like right now is I love the Innersense Purity line. Um, I love the Evolve um, Moisture, whatever it's called. I love the Evolve line. Um, and then I really like these as well. And the shampoo bar and conditioner like I was talking about. I really use those mainly when I travel just cause it's just so much easier to travel with those than like bottles of stuff. Um, but I sometimes use them, you know, like when I'm here at home, but, um, mainly just when I'm, when I'm out, out and about, not at home <laughs> when I have to take my shower bar somewhere. Um, okay. So the other two products in here are body products. We've got the mind and body wash. And I believe this is like the same body wash as the one that came in the pump from last year. It's just got new scents. Um, this is the new Meadow vision scent. The eight ounce is $18, which again, super affordable. Get lost, then found in the wildly transportive scent inspired by a vision quest in a lush meadow. Ylang Ylang, geranium, clary sage, and lavender bloom high above the coastline, resilient yet ephemeral. These wildflowers blanket the landscape only for a short period of time to wake up our senses and inspire deep appreciation. This is Meadow Vision, a new scent for Bathing Culture's hero product, their mind and body wash. Aloe, olive oil, coconut oil, shea butter, and skin conditioning glycerin are blended and bottled in 100% recycled PET, which I actually kind of appreciate things are coming in like plastic now. I used to be like a glass, um, I'd be like, if it wasn't in glass, I don't like it. But now because they've stopped accepting glass recyclables in my area, I'm like, if it comes in plastic, great, because I could actually throw it in the recycle. All the glass has to end up in the trash now. <sighs> anyway, okay, so the Meadow Vision, does it say? It says it smells like gazing into an infinite meadow of desert wildflowers. I mean, it could be, it could be more floral, but I don't know. I don't really know what, no, well, I guess I could, I guess I do smell the ylang ylang and a little bit of the lavender, mostly the, the ylang ylang or is it lang lang, whatever it is. I really like this again. It lathers really nicely. Um, you don't need a ton of it. I've used this quite a few times and I'm only like right here. You just need a little bit. It lathers really well. It makes my skin feel really nice and soft. Um, I don't have any issues with like anything about it. I really like it again. I like that it's in this delivery system now. Um, I would buy that again. Mainly what I use is the Alivia body cleanse. Um, cause that's like enzymatic and it's really clean ingredients and I really like that, but I do like this as well. And this is one that I would keep around sort of like alternating between the two, which I have been doing. Um, I've been alternating between the two cause I really like both. So, um, lastly, we've got the heat wave body oil and this is in the scent nude beach again, which we went over in the conditioner. Um, so this is the final step in our four part journey. Feels like a silk slip and smells like summer soaked skin. Warm lush nuts, notes of magnolia and coconut are balanced with citrus in heat wave body oil, a post bath barrier shield of rice bran, fractionated coconut, sunflower, and jojoba oils that mimic the skin's natural lipids and quickly absorb. Arnica containing bioactive helenin, helenalin, helenalin, <laughs> I don't know, that soothes muscle soreness, pairs with avocado oil to seal in moisture and deliver day long radiance. It's a light, warm, and healing. It's as light, warm, and healing as the sun. So this is a nice body oil. Um, I really don't have like a specific favorite 
body oil like formula necessary. It's really just about like scent for me, like which ones I love the, the scent of. Um, my top favorites right now are the, or I guess just like of all time, are the Undaria one from Osea. I love the Undaria body oil. It smells great. It sinks in really nicely. Sampre Vivra from Nini Organics, <sighs> love. Um, Garden Isle from Leilani. What else is like a favorite favorite for me? I don't know that I have any more that are like super like must rebuy favorites. Like those three scents are like really unique to me and I love them all. Um, I like the formula of this. It's not, the scent isn't like enough for me to like rebuy this one necessarily, but I don't think it's a terrible, it's a good formula. It does what it's supposed to do. I do like it, but um, in terms of like, like I said, with, with body oils, um, what I fall in love with mainly is the scent. And if like, if the scent isn't intriguing enough for me to rebuy it, I'm not going to, but that doesn't make it a bad product. It's just like not, it's not what I want to rebuy. You know what I mean? Um, so right now uh, it's like the winter. It's not like super cold in Arizona, but it does, it's, it is getting chilly. Um, so in the winter, what I like to do with my body oils is mix them with the Osmia um, mousses, body mousses. What I was using before this came in is I'm using the black spruce body mousse, which was like a special, like, I don't know, two plus years ago. Um, and then the evergreen body oil, which was again, another special a couple of years ago. I think she's done them again, you know, since then, but those are, I've gotten previous ones from, you know, way back when, but this one specifically is just the naked. This is the naked body mousse, which smells like nothing <laughs> as you would expect, cause it's naked. Um, but yeah, so I take like a generous scoop of this. I put in a bunch of pumps of this and then I mix them together and I rub them on my legs and then I put on my jeans or my sweatpants or whatever I'm wearing that day. Um, as like sort of like a, a barrier between my pants and legs. And then, you know, like as the day goes on, it sinks into my skin. And then like, by the time I take my pants off at the end of the night, it's like my, my legs are just like super soft. But like right now, because I only put this on a couple of hours ago, my, my legs are still a bit like, I would say like greasy um, and oily. So if like I took them off right now, like and sat on my couch, like my pet hair would stick to my legs. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I like to do this combo in the, in the winters, um, the body mousse, excuse me, and the oils, um, just because I can cover them with my pants and sort of seal it in. So yeah, I don't use the body mousses any other time of the year, but I had a naked one um, sitting around that I had bought in quite a while ago, which still smells fine, so I'm gonna use it. Um, and then I decided to mix it with this since this has a scent on it and I wanted, I didn't want like the scent of other body oils or the body mousses to like impede with the, with the body oil, because I do have, I do have three other body mousses in like varying scents. I've got lavender still, I've got black spruce, and then I think I have something else. I found it recently, but I'm not using it right now, so I can't remember. So I need to, I need to use up, it needs to stay cold for a while so I can use up all my body mousses. Anyway, um, so yeah, so that's what's in the box this month. We've got a shampoo and conditioner, a body wash, and a body oil, and I really, really like this box, um, especially in terms of like rebuy, reviability. I think everything's really affordable. Um, I like the things that are in here. Um, like I do like this again, but this is not one that I would rebuy, but I would rebuy the other three um, because I think that these are good formulas and ones that stand out um, to me amongst like a lot of other ones that I've tried. I'm not a big body wash person like necessarily, but um, I do like having this formula um, amongst a bunch of other ones I've tried. Um, I like this one and I like the Alivia one, like I said. And then the shampoo and conditioner, also really great, make my hair feel really good, really, really enjoying those. So all in all, um, I really like this box. I think it's a great box to start the year with, especially if you're looking for some new hair care and body care products to sort of get you through, you know, the first part of, I guess winter, cause what, it's not spring really until uh, March, cause December technically was like the beginning of winter. <laughs> Seasons are weird. <laughs> uh, Cause like by the time March comes around here, it's like almost summer. So like we really don't get much of a, of a, a fall, winter or spring. It just sort of like, it's summer, it rolls into pretty cold for a little while and then it's just like summer again for us, which I know like in other parts of the country, it's like snowing and there's like winter storms and like all that. But like here it's just like, hey, it's sunny and nice outside. And my lemons, my lemons on my tree, I've got, I think I've got like 10 or 11 lemons that are like starting to ripen. They're like turning yellow. And then I have an orange tree out there as well that I didn't think any of the flowers pollinated. And I was just like looking at my tree the other day and I saw two, two oranges. Did I say lemons again? Orange 
um, I saw two oranges like underneath at the bottom. So somehow two flowers on the underside of the tree got pollinated and um, it grew two oranges this year. So I thought that was pretty cool. So, I mean, those are starting to get pretty big. So like every year from here on out, we should be getting like a few more fruits every year, but it's pretty exciting. The rest of my garden is not doing so great. <laughs> um, it's very neglected. Um, my basil is like, there was like this point where I had basil like almost all over my backyard because like the seeds were like blowing around and just like planting in random parts in the yard. But um, then uh, I got that cleaned up and now there's no more, now it's just weeds. Now there's just weeds growing all over my yard, which we need to deal with. But um, uh, but yeah, so the, I, my basil's not doing great. My beds are like pretty neglected. So I'm just trying to figure out what I'm doing with my backyard, with my garden, with my life. I don't know, I don't know. Um, so yeah, so I'm glad that I was able to sit down and film my Beauty Heroes video because it's been quite a few months since I've been able to do that. I think the last one I did was the, actually I think <laughs> this is sitting, this is what's sitting right here still. This is how little I clean up these days. That's the, the blue alchemy masks are what the, you know, the boxes are sitting right here. The masks are in my bathroom, but the boxes from the last, the last one are sitting right here, which I also have the Prima box just sitting here. <laughs> I just, I don't film that much and this, this area of my room just is like super neglected. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's, that's what my life is right now. So um, in terms of what I'm gonna do next, I'm not sure. Um, I did wanna try to get up like a favorites video before the end of the year. Obviously that didn't happen. Um, I'm not sure if I'm even gonna do one because I, I really, I don't know that I really have any like favorite favorites. I'm gonna have to go through it and see if I can pick maybe like a, a very pared down list of like specific favorites. Um, because I don't know that I have anything that's like of any interest to anybody, but we'll see. Um, so I may do a favorites video, I may not. Um, I have a, a very big empties video that I need to do. Um, I wanna do my deodorant video. Um, and then we'll sort of see where we go from there because like I said, I'm, I'm gonna be doing more in-depth sort of like focused videos and less like frou-frou just random stuff um it's really going to be like when a beauty heroes box speaks to me because like i said I, I might not do a single one i might not do one for every single month this year we'll just have to sort of see what the boxes are i did get the ayuna terra viva mask as well which i kind of wanted to do a video on if you want to see that leave me a comment down below and i can maybe see if i can um put that together soon as a a, a uh, Ayuna Terra Viva like a mask demo and review because they did send that to me and I, I did want to I did want to talk about it since they did send it um, I was also thinking about doing like a book a book wrap up because I did finish 156 books total last year um, and the last update I did on my reading it was like June and I had read like 100 books up to that point so I managed to read another 56 the second half of the year so I thought maybe I could do like a book wrap up maybe talk about my book reading goals for 2023 um I just want to do more stuff that's meaningful to me and like I said less like frou-frou and throw away you know what I mean does that make sense because like all the videos that I talked about doing like are all sort of like meaningful and like in-depth and things that I like really enjoy and aren't like just like oh I'm throwing a video out into the cyberspace you know what I mean I don't know anyway I'm out of breath again, so I'm going to go, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, I, I'm <laughs> glad that you guys see me pop up. Like when I do, I know that you guys sort of like in the comments get excited. Like when I do post a video, cause it is very infrequent these days. Um, I do want to be here more. I just, I just sort of have to figure out how that works with my life and like what that looks like. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope that it was helpful. Let me know if you're planning on picking up the Beauty Heroes box, the Bathing Culture box this month, or if you've already gotten it, what your thoughts are. I would love to know what you guys think. And I will see you guys in my next one.